Back Like We Never Left BDA, and we knew this is what it was. We knew it was going to be a recap, flashbacks, and that's exactly what we got. Now, Rebecca at the beginning, she was looking at Luffy kind of weird. I'm not sure if she wanted to. It was a really touching episode. We had Rebecca staring at Luffy and crying because she's thinking about the first time she met Luffy, and Luffy basically dressing up like Cheetos. She was thinking about that. We had Frankie thinking back to uh, when Luffy told him to go all out. We had Kiros thinking back to when he first met King Riku, when, um, when he cut off his leg to, to go at Doflamingo when he got turned into a toy. We had all these guys basically reminiscing as to what happened in the past and seeing like where they all came from. I thought it was it was it's a recap of everything that happened. Now Luffy's pretty much knocked out. Um we see all Listen, it's just not much to talk about. <laughs> so let's just talk about some random stuff. Okay, so Leo was all up in Robin's titty. Baby Five about to get that D from Psy. Those guys are really moved by Luffy and what he did, though. And I, it was kind of cool with um, Luffy laying on the ground and, and Gats. He was kind of just like, he couldn't even say it, say who triumphed. And seeing the people of Dress Rosa, they really, they've come a long way in all that they've really been through with Doflamingo, spanning all that time and finally, Finally, I think it was real. It's really symbolic when they finally saw the sun because that was literally a new beginning, right? It was it was a new day, and now they can finally see the sun without the clouds because you know the flamingo used to fly with the clouds, so now the, cl the clouds are no more. You can see the sun. Bird cage is gone, and we saw Zoro. I know someone mentioned before that Zoro was Armorman Haki that. I, he wasn't sure if he covered the hilt, but Zora in the actual anime that we saw, the animation, he covered the entire sword, so he, he can do that. I like Frankie's eye. I really hope his eye stays that way. I mean, it's, I know it's not, but I really, it, I like his eye. It's really cool. That brings me to Zora's eye. I'm not sure what's going on there. Like, this is this is what happens when One Piece does episodes like this, where it's just a recap of everything that happened. I think next episode should be a lot better. Next episode, we're going to get Luffy, not Luffy, we're going to get Fujitora again with some more Sabo and Bird just stuff and we're gonna get some main art <laughs> it's gonna be that type of episode next week but this episode um recaps wrap-ups um we saw doflamingo laying there and of course we see the glass is broken but his eyes are still covered and that's kind of like oh my god they did a recap at the beginning with the um gear fourth king kong gun versus doflamingo i thought it was cool i think that's gonna be cool every time i see it but still it was just like a recap they didn't spend too long i'd say that on the actual previous episode recaps they're like you know what let's put all our budget for this week into episodes before this let's recap all their dreams and stuff Let's let's do that this week. This is one of those episodes where you're watching the show, but you're doing something else. Like <laughs> that's what I was doing, watching the show. I'm like, I'm looking away because it wasn't. I didn't miss anything because everything that they showed, I, I've seen before. Uh, let me know what you thought about this episode. What do you expect for next week? I expect. Um, I don't know. I think we're not gonna get the whole Fujitora thing in the episode. I believe we're gonna get like uh, uh, him doing what he did probably towards the end but we're gonna get Sabo and Burgess for sure we're gonna get that that should be wrapped up but yeah let me know what you think um like the video if you did subscribe to the channel if you have not that'd be dope have a good day people